What we're going to do here is look at an example uh, where we use the partition theorem, also known as total probability theorem, and also we're going to use Bayes' theorem. So it's going to be a two-part uh, process. The question is as follows. A ball is chosen at random and it's replaced along with two more of the same colour. In this bag are four green balls and six red balls. So question A. If a second ball is chosen, what's the probability that it's red? So what we're going to do first is create two events. We're going to have event A, which is the event that the first ball is red. Now already we know the probability of event A because there are six red balls in a bag of ten, so that's six out of ten. Now event B is what we're looking for. Event B is that the second is red. Now obviously there are many more different ways of getting uh, a second red ball than there are the first. So to answer part A we're going to use something called partition theorem. And partition theorem goes as follows. Probability of B is equal to probability B given A multiplied by probability of A plus the other possibility which is the probability of B given not A times pro probability of not A. So it's as simple as plugging all the values in. But how do we know probability of B given A? Well, the probability of B given A uh, is the probability that the second ball is red given that the first is red. So the chances of drawing a first red ball are 6 out of 10, at which point we then end up with 5 out of 9, but then it's replaced, so it goes back up to 6 over 10, and then they add two more balls of the same colour, so we actually have 8 over 12. So when it comes to the second uh, choice, we have 8 red balls out of 12 balls overall, so the probability of choosing uh, a red ball, given that the first was already red, becomes 8 over 12. probability of A, 6 over 10. Now probability of B given not A is the similar method to the last over here. So we have 4 over 10 because we're trying to choose a green ball and then that green ball is replaced along with two more green balls so that becomes 6 over 12. But we don't want to choose a green ball, we want to choose a red ball. So it's the other 6 out of the 12 that are left. And then that's multiplied by the probability of not red, which is green, which is 4 over 10. And if you plug it in on a calculator or do it by hand, you end up with 48 plus 24 over 120, which is equal to 16 over 25. And that's how we use the partition theorem. Now, part B. If I can bring the question back here. Part B. Given that it's red, what's the probability that the first was green? Now, if you see given, it's normally assigned to use Bayes' theorem. And Bayes' theorem is as follows. So, for the probability that the first wasn't red, given that we draw a red the second time,
Now a very cool way of remembering Bayes' theorem, which is this, is if you see A, well, AB, we have AB here, and we simply reverse the BA here. So if you can think of this, you can normally create or remember Bayes' theorem just by remembering A over B, A over B, and reverse this, BA. And now it's simply a case of just plugging in uh, what we worked out on the previous page. So we have 6 over 12 multiplied by 4 over 10. Uh, given that we worked this out on the last answer, we have 16 over 25. And that provides a lovely answer at the end of 5 over 16. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much.